According to YouTube statistics, only 33% of you guys are actually subscribed. So scroll down, click that subscribe button. It's free, you can always change your mind later, and it really means a lot to me. With this said, enjoy the video. A lot of people can't survive in the dark sea or don't know what to do, and if you're like this, this is the video for you. This is my guide to the dark sea. First things first, get dodge reflexes. There's a quest at White Summit, and when you're level 125, you could talk to the basic combat mentors, and all you need to do is hunt three criminal NPCs, not Blackwater criminals and not players, and then you can use dodge reflexes. Something else that's super obvious is you'll need a brig. I'd heavily recommend getting 100% stability, because you'll get pretty messed up without it. The brig I took into the Dark Sea for the first time had strong bronze armor, swift cotton sailcloth, sailors, and Edward Kenton, which rounded out to about 100 stability, 15,000 defense, 84 speed, and 98 resilience. Once you get your brig, your next step is pretty obvious, go into the Dark Sea. It's a pretty good idea to bring cargo or just a crap ton of galleons and a bronze repair hammer. I'd also recommend to pick up Enazor and his quest along your way there, because once he's completed, he gives you 5 stability, allowing you to be more lenient on your armor, possibly allowing you to invest into more speed or something else you'd like. If you're like me and got this quest and thought, what the hell is a black shard, here's a quick little guide. As you can see right now, I kinda just wander around the Dark Sea Islands and pick up black shards. Black shards can also be used to make Insanity 3 gel. It's pretty much your guide to stay winning. I'm going to regret saying that. Water poisoning is something you can get in the second ranges of the Dark Sea, so pretty much all the insanity ranges. The way to counter this is easier said than done. Take a bath. I know, an Arcane Odyssey player's worst enemy. In all honesty, it's pretty hard if you're in combat. You'll have to run all the way back to your brig, get into your captain's quarters while taking damage. It's a pain in the ass. If you're not on an island, it's really simple to get off the wheel, step near your bed, and bathe. Very scary. If you can't handle the visual effects of insanity, you can sometimes find golden petals on dark sea islands, which are actually pretty easy to find if you see a golden flower, just walk up to it and grab the petals. From what I know, they have four petals, which it only takes two to make a warding two potion, which is five golden petals. Another way to get warding, the dumb way, is to fish in insanity one for narwhal horns for perfect warding potions, aka warding five, which is pointless if you're being smart. Only run solo. The only thing you need to worry about is when it comes to solo runs, don't try to take on Atlantean crews. Stick to the islands and sirens. I will recommend, if your brig gets low, it would be a good idea to just sink an Atlantean ship and run for a health pack on your brig. I'd recommend looting in the second ranges or third ranges if you're feeling risky on solo. In Sanity 3 aka the fourth range, it just isn't worth the risk if you're solo. However, if you have warding, feel free to do whatever in the fourth range. Just if you're not insanely used to the Dark Sea, you might die. If you're struggling to deal with Atlanteans on islands, bring something like a bow to M1 and keep distance makes them a hell of a lot easier. For those of you who want to find sirens but can't, turn on your game volume and use headphones. Listen for singing and turn your camera in different directions until you hear it in one of your ears. Direct your ship that way until you see the rock. I currently know there's a shared wind, light, and shadow siren. If I'm wrong, please correct me in the comments. I will put it in the pinned message. And for my last tip, trust no one.